Hey YouTube, Kiwi Guys back doing a review of the Jelly Bean ROM that's out for Samsung. It's the Touchless ROM. This is um, modified by EB from XDA developers. So there's a few um, things that he's changed and I'll go into those in a second. So um, as you can see, I'll just take this out. It'll be easier. Just my finger all over the place. Okay, you see this is Rocket ROM Jelly Bean version 1. So this is EB's uh, that's what he calls his ROMs, Rocket ROM, and I've done a few of the reviews of his before, and they, they go, seem to go pretty well. This is 4.1.1, and base pan's based on the LS1. Okay, so this is basically the LS2 version of Jelly Bean, but it's EB's little um, customizations. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty quick. Let's use my finger, it's faster. Uh, really smooth transitions, there's no, no lag at all. Jelly Bean's pretty cool. Um, Keyline Pie doesn't seem to be coming out anytime soon, so 4.2 is still going to be called Jelly Bean, apparently. It's from the Android Google open source forums. Um, and the features, uh, let's just quickly go into the camera. Let's go and have a look at some different settings. Okay, so Jelly Bean settings, uh, let's, home screen, you can uh, change between basic and easy mode. Um, easy mode, I guess if you're hard of visions imp vision impaired or, you know, maybe you just like that sort of layout, um, it's not for me, but the option's there for you. Power saving mode, just like normal. Uh, battery, so I've been running for four hours and it's down to 92%. Um, However, it was fully charged and it always does last longer, the first 10%. I've noticed this ROM, compared to Android open source ROMs, uh, does uh, suck a little bit more battery power, but that's you know just comparing to a vanilla jelly bean, of course it's going to do that. Um, unlock mode, you've got motion, face, signature, you know, the same options you've seen before. Uh, the ripple effect when you um, unlock your screen, you, got, you can have the weather on there quick camera access and wake up lock screen you can tick that and say wake up and it, it turns on it's a nice little feature you've also got a feature to push your finger on the screen flip it to landscape and the camera automatically enables that's pretty cool so you don't need that in the lock screen you just you know push the bell button it wakes up put your thumb on it turn it to landscape and boom you've got the camera right Uh, as we go down, uh, you've got the normal features, accessibility, date, uh, developer options, USB debugging, I think everyone knows all about that sort of stuff. Um, S-Note, um, I just flashed this this morning, and that doesn't work, but obviously you can copy those two files, dump them into the root directory under data, apps, and then install them, overwrite them, and they're good to go again. So... I'll just show you that now quickly. So that's where I stored my my two apps. Copy them. Go right back to the root. Into data and into apps. And then paste them. Override them. And then install them. And then you're done. I'll just fast forward this because I'm pretty sure you know what to do from there on in. Okay, so that was the last one I'm stalling now. That last one always takes quite a while. Okay, let's kick it down. Let's go back to our app drawer and see if it works. I'm assuming it is going to. And there we go. Okay, let's just get back out of that. Right. Back into the apps, let's have a look at what they've got. Um, everything's there. There's um, video editor, music player, um, Dropbox also. You can uh, um, open a new Dropbox account and you get 48 gigabytes of free usage for that year. 
a Samsung, that's a, a Samsung feature. Um, you got this note, uh, yes, calendar, let's go and add an app, a widget. Let's just, um, just smack in the weather. Okay, drag and drop, looks like normal, pretty sure everyone knows how to do that. Okay, let's go back to Play Store. That works. Uh, a couple of people said that they couldn't install apps, so I'm just going to run through and see if you can install an app. Speaking of something I couldn't do, I changed the DPI and I did a backup, of course, as you do, and changing the DPI didn't work with this ROM. Um, but I just used, you know, my knowledge and hacked into the um, ROM itself, so probably not the best idea. Maybe just download an app to do it, that would, may, may work for you. Okay, let's download that. And go back to the home screen when it's downloading. See if it can multitask, okay. Pull down this top screen. It's downloading, okay, so then you've got your notifications, you can clear all those. Let's pull it down again. And you've got your navbar, Okay, nav bar at the top, and all your toggles you can turn off and on. Let's clear it so it's installed. Uh, one thing that didn't work for me with the beta was the USB connection. Uh, it only worked for photo and for media transfer, and even the media transfer didn't work too well. And the photo worked for me. So USB, I've got it working now. It's uh, not enabled by default. MTP transfers by default. So um, let's just see if it turns orange yet. Okay, so it does work. Um, a simple way to do that instead of going into your device and and actually modifying the ROM is to download an app. And I'll just go inside that in a second. Let's turn that off and get out. Okay, the problem with Sony ROMs is they do take quite a while to initialize the SD card. So I'm you can sit here, I'm pushing apps, nothing's happening because the SD card's trying to re um, initialize. That's just my widget I downloaded before. Actually, a cool feature is the motion or gestures, as Apple calls them, is uh, you click on an, an app or a widget and to move it from screen to screen. Oops, not on it properly. Uh, you just tilt the device a little bit and you can see it changes screens. Instead of dragging it to the left or the right to change screens, you just hold it and tilt the device a little bit, like I'm doing now. I'm not getting you dizzy. And let's just put that up there and get back out of that. Okay, so that's a cool little feature. You can enable that if you want. Right, apps. Uh, that's that USB switcher that I sort of got off task a little bit there. So you go on the App Store, download USB switcher. You gotta have root, of course. And you can click change to USB, um, change to MTP. Once you've clicked that, it'll reboot it and that'll be your default setting when you plug in USB. Okay, so that's my review of Rocket ROM version one for Jellybean. Keep a guy out.